Hey, welcome back to Fit Survive channel. So, many of you requested that I do a Leatherman uh, modification, since usually I do uh, Swiss Army knives. So we're going to be modifying this Leatherman Squirt. It's a PS4, so it has uh, the pliers, nice and spring loaded. And then for the rest of the tool set, it basically has the blade, then it has the scissors over here. On this side, you have the large uh, flathead and the bottle opener and then a small little flathead there. And then lastly, it has a file. So what we're going to be doing, um, on the newer, uh, based on newer models, they pinned this shut. On the older model, it was done with torque screws. So we're going to uh, drill this out and we'll be replacing that with these pivot barrels for reassembling using torque screws. And as you can see here, we're gonna be using these uh, bronze scales. And also, I'm going to be acid etching all the parts. And so it should turn out pretty nice with all the, the tools being nice and dark. I think it should look really great with these uh, bronze scales. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so that's not exactly how I wanted to take this apart, uh, but it wasn't coming apart uh, very well, one tool at a time. And so, yeah, it might be a bit difficult getting this back together as far as figuring out where all the pieces go. So anyways, next thing we need to do, um, one more thing we have to do here, is that these new pivot barrels, they don't quite fit. They're like just a hair larger in the tools, I shall see there. Doesn't quite fit in there. And so what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to use a diamond file here and basically widen out the pivot barrel. I'm sorry, the, uh, the pivot hole here. So just a tidbit on each of the tools. All right, so say just maybe a tidbit more will be needed because it just doesn't want to fit in there. But anyways, I'm going to head, I'll continue doing that um, off camera since it's kind of a repetitive uh, basic motion. And so I'll do this to all the tools. Uh, the, the pliers head will also need to be, um, same thing, I'll have to grind it out just a tidbit so that the the pivot barrels will fit. And then what I'll do is I'll arrange all this stuff so it's nice and orderly and we'll come back and we'll continue from there. All right, so I finished up with uh, widening the pivot sections. 
And so now then our pivot barrel should fit just fine. So see here. So basically everywhere where the pivot barrel will be crossing through had to be widened, except for on the, the washers. They didn't need to be widened, they were just fine as they were. All right, so we're not gonna need uh, the original liners anymore, nor will we need these steel rods. So you can toss that, toss this, and we'll be using these. All right, and this is gonna be our, our layout here. So Forge, got, they got that all worked out and it rearranged again. All right, so next thing, uh, let's go ahead and we'll start acid etching all of these tools and then we'll be ready to assemble this. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna begin assembly uh, starting from the middle. And so that's something that I, I basically figured out after already trying this once. So basically, unlike on a Swiss Army knife where you'd start from one side, what we're basically gonna do here is we're going to assemble um, the pliers and then we'll build, from build on both sides after that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this uh, section right here against the side of my table just to push that back a bit and fit this in. All right, so that worked pretty well there. All right, and then we need to do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, so we got all those fitted in now. And then, so what we can do next is um, actually begin with uh, building the layers farther. So we'll go ahead and close this, just like that.
All right, so it's still kind of off center here. So I'm gonna try to use the side of my table again, see if I can't force that in. All right, so it took me quite a while, but I was able to fit this side on. It was really tight getting that on. So I'm not sure if that's just the, uh, the tension from the tools what it was all right now we can begin um, assembling the other side All right, so this side's gonna be a booger too. See right there. So again, I'm going to push this against the side of the table, try to get some leverage, try to get that to fit down. All right, it's so also with a fair amount of effort. Got that side also on. All right, so here it is after sharpening up the blade and oiling the tools, some of the pivoting points. All right, so as I said here, sharpen this up. Kind of interesting that it actually only has an edge on one side. Kind of interesting way of sharpening it. And also it's got still a snap. And so it takes some awesome fine adjustments uh, with these uh, torque screws and pivot barrels. It's kind of nice things that you can actually fine adjust uh, the amount of tension you have on each tool because you got to find a kind of golden middle to where the tools don't wobble but at the same time they're still loose enough to where they snap shut so same thing over here so the only tools that don't really snap are the scissors and i noticed on the other set that i have it's also stock um, that the scissors, scissors also don't snap and so i guess it's just the way that it's set up. All right, and as for the, the pliers, it's got some scuff marks everywhere where it rubs against the inside here. It's kind of un unavoidable. Anyway, so also I've oiled this up. Still nice and springy. Also snaps closed. All right, so that is everything for this. So let me know what you think about this modification here with these uh, bronze scales and acid etching the tools if you like the way that was done. And let me know what you would like to see uh, maybe done to a Leatherman squirt. And we'll see, maybe I can come up with something. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.